We all know that there is an ever-increasing amount of information being sent to first responders, especially with phone calls, texts, videos, and other telematics being delivered directly to the first responders out in the field so they can see what's going on at the site. The ability to ingest that as a first responder while you're trying to put out a fire or deal with medical issues or deal with some law enforcement situation is really critical and AI is going to really help to present the right information to the responder in a consumable way. If public safety can find a way to bring all this information together and get it to themselves when they're in the field trying to save citizens' lives, they can utilize that data to determine when a, the public's in danger, when they might be in danger, to help their teammates. All of this information can be brought to them now with the, with the influence of broadband technologies. Working with A&M and US Ignite and NIST to bring this challenge together has just been such a great experience. As we're going through the different phases, pushing out the RFP, getting folks excited and engaged, wanting to participate in the program, providing them feedback once they do apply, as we go through the different phases of prototyping and development, all of those take tremendous amount of effort by our team, our partners, the other stakeholders, in order to make sure that at the end of the prize competition, you have teams that are meeting the vision that was set out by the program at, at the beginning. The teams have brought a lot of energy and dedication, and particularly ingenuity, into the problem set. It's not an easy challenge to harness all of that IoT data that could be pertinent to the first responder, but being able to harness it and harmonize it is something they've really taken to heart. We saw a lot of innovative ideas, and it's, it's exciting to see what are some out-of-the-box possibilities to collaborate and extend upon. I was pretty impressed with the overall product. The teams really showed some progress from the early stages until the end, and I think it's always interesting to see how different groups of people decide to take a completely different angle at the problem or how they have different sort of strengths and things they emphasized. I think it's super important to try and bridge the gap between innovators, industry, especially young innovators, and, and, and academia, and the public safety community. Planning and managing prize competition can be a complex process. Over the course of two years that we managed the design competition from February 2022 to now November 2023, it was very important for us to understand that what are the current solutions out there that the first responders have access to, and what are the technologies that are available, and what are some of these pain points that have not been met through the previous solutions. We are learning from our peers, but also making sure that we are capturing all all the points that we can share later with other entities that embark on similar efforts. And to that end, we have published a playbook for designing competitions and also a white paper is coming out of the AI tree competition that will be publicly available for anyone who would do the same effort. We're very keen to see data science making a, an impact in the real world, and certainly anything that can be done to help the flow of, of information to uh, emergency responders and field commanders uh, is going to make for a better world, enrich people's lives, and keep people safe. I've been so impressed by the presentations. People have found different approaches to the problem, a lot of uh, ingenuity there, coming up with, with different solutions. And I'm particularly impressed by how people have tailored their solutions 